Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from AR Media. In tonight's video, I want to go over hot summer nights on 4K Dolby Vision. Now, I gave this a watch last night on my Apple TV, so let's get straight into the movie. Now, this was distributed by A24, and I'm usually a huge fan of all their releases, as I've stated in my other videos, and I'm also a big fan of Timothy Chalamet. I think he's a great up-and-coming star. He was in Lady Bird. He was in Call Me By Your Name, and I think he's a great dramatic actor. So this movie focuses on two people in Rhode Island and their weed dealers in 1991 and they are up and coming in the game and growing by the minute. And it takes a lot of influences from other movies and that's the main problem I have from it. I don't mind when you're influenced from another movie but when it's so obvious that it's just like glaring in your face, I do have a problem with it. So straight off, right when it starts, you're gonna notice a lot of Goodfellow vibes, you're gonna notice a bunch of Sofia Coppola's The Virgin Suicide vibes, and then as you get into it, you're gonna notice some Johnny Depp blow vibes. And you know, once you start seeing all this mishmashed in there, and this is a drug dealer movie, you just kind of want to go and watch Blow instead. So overall, I didn't find the movie to be anything special. I mean, it did intrigue me at times. It did keep me until the end, but not something I see myself repeat viewing. I would definitely rent it. Now let's get to the picture quality. So I couldn't find anywhere online how this was shot or what the digital intermediate is, but I can say this is a clean digital image from what I can tell. It looks very good, but I wouldn't say it's a visual standout here, and the difference from the HD to the 4K Dolby Vision is not huge. You do get an increase in detail, but it's not very major, and what you do get here is the increase in Dolby Vision, and the reason for that is you get a very neon, vibrant color scheme with this movie, so you get a lot of pop in the color, a lot of nuances to the color, but besides that, there isn't a huge advantage to the 4K. Now when we get to the audio formats, this is just a standard 5.1, so we do not get immersive audio, but I don't really think it would have benefited from that anyway, but I did find the 5.1 very fitting for the action scenes and very nice for those times at the soundtrack and score. Core. Now guys, I would give this a rent. I personally wouldn't go out and buy this. You could rent this for $6.99 in 4K Dolby Vision right now on iTunes. It's currently also in theaters independently. Um, let me know what you guys think if you do give this one a watch below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.